Well, traders, a short recap of my trading session today. As you can see here, I'm up $11,000, so I really am enjoying myself. Um, just took my partial in Boeing up $5,000 and look at what's going on with Boeing right now, crashing down. That still is looking good and I'm short another 100 shares in Boeing over 8 points right now, so doing real good. And uh, so this 11000 are actually more than $12,000. Uh, the thing is, I want to talk about, uh, in this recap, I want to talk about why did I take short, a short trade in Boeing today. So my entry today in the trading room to go short Boeing was right over here, 150.10. As you can see, the S&P was moving higher today quite a bit. We started up 2%, we went over 3% here, and then we came down. I was looking for a pullback, and I was looking for an opportunity to short. And there's nothing better to short than a stock that is not going in the same direction of the market. You always need to, look, to take a look at both. You need to take a look at the S&P direction. It's moving higher very clearly. And at the same time, if you take a look at Boeing, it's trending lower. Lo lower. I posted Boeing for a short right over here. Then it came down, pulled back up a bit, and then crashed, really crashed down. So the thing is, did I know Boeing is going to continue that much down? No, I had absolutely no idea it's going to continue that much. But the thing is, if you want to short something, you don't short a stock that is just coming down with the market. You see... Boeing is really using every hint it gets from the market to go down. For example, the first pullback here after four candles, if you take a look at Boeing, it came down very strong. Even though it was a very small red candle watching the market here, in Boeing, these are all four, five minute candles, it came down much stronger. And then the market was moving higher. And look over here when the market started to come down over 10.20 at uh, really what happened at uh, Boeing right here at 10.25. It usually happens a bit later. So look at what happened here. Market came down since Boeing to start with was weaker than the market. Then you could expect it to come down even stronger than the market. So you just take a look at Boeing and you say to yourself, even when we started out trading today, you just say to yourself, well, Boeing is really not going up with the market as it should. There's several other stocks that were going up with the market, like if you watch Tesla, if you watch other stocks, there are plenty of them. NVIDIA, plenty of them. We traded some of them. But you can take a look, you take a look at the Boeing and you say, well, what's the reason that Boeing's coming down? Well, obviously, the answer is very simple. More, more sellers than buyers. Yes, it started up with the market, with the gap up. Doesn't mean anything. Market makers just put it up because the market was moving up. So the market makers just started trading at, at a price which was 2% higher than what it was yesterday. Fine. So Boeing started up. But intraday, it has more sellers than buyers. And then it's bound to come down, especially when the S&P is making a move down. You see, the S&P making a move up means that the institutional traders are allowed to buy. S&P making a small move down, institutional traders are selling. But in a stock that is trending higher like Tesla, this would be a new high pullback, new high pullback. In Boeing's case, this is going to be maybe a move up. A small pullback could be a new low. Moving up, that means a pullback as it was trending lower. So you see, it's trending lower. The market pulls back up. Boeing pulls back up. That's a higher low. And then market moving to a new high doesn't mean Boeing's going to come down. It's coming down. It's come, come up. It's coming down. But then the market's moving back down from the new high and Boeing is crashing down because, again, any time the market comes down from the highs, that means institutional traders can sell. And obviously, Boeing has more sellers than buyers today. So if you take a look at Boeing, it's definitely came down when the market was moving higher. It's weaker than the market, more sellers than buyers. You look for a short, you don't look for stocks that are trending up with the market and maybe have a very nice technical formation for a short. It could be. But these stocks came up with the market. You don't short them. You short a stock that is trending lower when the market's trending higher. And Boeing was a perfect candidate. Really happy I took this trade. 
a beautiful green day. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.